For now, though, New Orleans police are seeking a teen suspect over the mass shooting at a Mother's Day parade on Sunday. It left 19 people wounded. Uh, the incident comes as President Obama continues his push for a clampdown on gun owners. But as RT's Marina Portnoy reports, the firearm lobby is giving no ground. It's the national wound that never stops bleeding. 19 Americans, including two 10-year-olds, were hospitalized after gunfire erupted in New Orleans during a Mother's Day parade. Yet another mass shooting in the United States, this time amid a national debate on gun control. If you go to Google uh, to look at the stories on this particular incident, you'll find that they're also advertising uh, places to practice your shooting, how to carry weapons and all the rest of it. In other words, instead of dissuading people uh, from using guns, this whole incident is being used to promote more guns and promote uh, more people having licenses to carry guns. So, you know, I, we're in a situation now where bizarrely, uh, the more violence there is, the more violence there probably will be. In the aftermath of last year's school shooting in Newtown, which killed 20 children and six adults, the National Rifle Association proposed armed security guards to be stationed in every American school. The country's largest gun organization is 5 million members strong and has fought fiercely to defeat Washington's recent efforts to introduce basic gun control legislation. Let me make this perfectly clear. We will never back away from our resolve to defend our rights and the rights of all law-abiding American gun owners. These children were among the 86,000 gun enthusiasts who recently turned out in Houston, Texas for the NRA's annual meeting and exhibit. During the three-day meeting, they received personal lessons on how to stand their ground. Kids as young as six practicing their aim with air guns. What's particularly disturbing about what's happening um, now in gun culture is the way the NRA is spearheading this kind of integration of children into um, the use of things like assault weapons and, and military style uh, semi-automatic uh, weapons as opposed to the old, you know, bolt action hunting rifles that kids maybe grew up with uh, a generation or two ago. With a reported 300 million guns already circulating in the U.S., Kyle Copeland founded the Armed Citizens Project to give firearms out for free. We're going to be training and arming residents in a neighborhood in Oak Forest in Houston. Uh, it's a high crime neighborhood with a lot of home invasions, and we're offering all the residents that live in our targeted neighborhood. If they can pass a background check and if they'll take our training class, we will give them for free a pump action shotgun for home defense. When it came to defending attention at the New Orleans parade. Even police officers interspersed in the crowd couldn't stop the gunmen. So all in all, this was a pretty shameful day for Washington. But many argue the legislation for basic background checks that failed last month in Washington could have. Ironically, America's divisive debate on gun control has turned into a blessing for the arms industry. Skyrocketing sales of rifles and ammunition has been reported, arguably making it even harder for future mass shootings to possibly be prevented. Reporting from New York, Marina Pornaya, RT.